find it interesting um, what you what you had said earlier about being in between not knowing if you're in the philosophy of uh, education or early childhood education because so much of and uh, and not I'm not myself very too familiar with early childhood education but it seems like you know going back to Rousseau or something and thinking about Dewey what the, the stuff I've read with Dewey and then the people like J.S. Neal and it seems like there's a long kind of tradition of, of philosophy of, of of early childhood or at least the the child and then it seems like you were saying well that kind of that kind of, that there just wasn't as much um activity or interest in early childhood education within philosophy so I guess I guess this question is kind of how are you know philosophers like yourself um and others perhaps now to rethinking some of the um uh, rethinking some of the questions that have been long-standing in early childhood education um and we were curious especially about um, questions concerning like play um because that's a, that's a kind of long-standing um uh, site of 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 thinking about early childhood education so yeah how, how would you how would how, how would you respond to some of those um comments questions i remember um you know, i remember thinking about like rousseau's work and and it's like quite tacit influence um in relation to this construction of the early childhood curriculum in, in this country uh, and, and elsewhere perhaps but definitely like um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of ideas about childhood that, that resonate with for instance this idea of the importance of the child playing in nature and it's not just Rousseau it's obviously also Froebel and Froebel's probably had a more explicit influence over uh, some trends and traditions and, and dogma in this country in relation to early child education. Um, the, the, perhaps the best way to explain it uh, as a challenge in, in this country is that often philosophy is talked about as a having of a position rather than the asking of a question. So philosophy is something that you have to write as a statement of values and beliefs. And I'm not saying that's not philosophy, but to me, mm -hmm. it's not philosophical work. Um, mm -hmm. So you read Rousseau in teacher education, in early childhood teacher education, and are asked to then say what you believe, rather than to read Rousseau and think about what Rousseau was exploring at the time in relation to social contracts, in relation to a concern for the industrial impact um, on 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 childhood. Um, so it's like you know Rousseau's set in some kind of weird stone. Um, that then means that people reading Rousseau now go, oh, I wouldn't want to read Rousseau because that doesn't really make any sense. Rather than understanding that what Rousseau was doing, you know, certainly was full of like um, quite a hardline beliefs about nature about the world about childhood but also started with question you know where are we going with the industrial revolution where are we going with the, the development of the of the citizen and the community and what does that mean for the child um you know same with Froebel so so to me what's happened is that not just a, a teacher but also a whole early childhood center has to develop a philosophy statement which means they engage in quite particular ways with philosophers of education, searching through them for something that they can then write down on paper to say, this is our, our philosophy, rather than we do philosophical work. So if they don't like or can't make sense of Rousseau, which is quite possible, or Foucault, or, um, you know, and I'm using a, a narrow range of uh, you know there's a narrow demographic in what i'm talking about here as well i recognize that so uh you know so, so the those those traditional philosophers that are produced in in the curriculum um you know they don't necessarily speak to the people who are writing their philosophy statements on one level but also the fact that they're even being asked to write philosophy statements is a is something of a of a performance that maybe undermines the potential although i don't like the word potential um of philosophy of education for for teaching for teacher education um 
you know, the other thing I was thinking in relation to that. Oh, and by the way, I, you know, if, if you could imagine, like, every time you read an, a school or a centre philosophy statement, Whitney Houston, you know, singing, I believe the children are our future. It makes me well up with tears, but it also makes me realise how cliched some of these philosophy statements are. And and so, yeah, so the other thing is to, to realise that there's a colonising process going on in the relation to the philosophy of education that, you know, is, is hugely I ironic uh, when it when we turn now to post-structuralism and post-humanism and, um, and like new materialist methodologies, because for instance, for Māori in, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, it, it's like being told, okay, well, after 150 odd years or so, you know, after this amount of colonization, uh, the, the academy is now realizing the error of its ways, but, uh, you know, and turning to ways of thinking about the world that, that were actually suppressed, you know, very viciously, you know, by the British as they arrived, uh, you know, and this is in a, in a week of, of, of the nation being invited to, we, we're having a day off in a couple of, in a couple of weeks to, to remember the queen. Um, so, you know, now's a good moment to realize that when the, when the, when, when colonial ships arrived, they are, they arrived with an idea about philosophy and about science that is being, um, you know, that is being replaced slowly, chip by chip, but in ways that don't recognize the knowledge that was already here. Um, so yeah, I would, I would love to be, I mean, Rose Petty, for instance, uh, her, her, her works um, and, you know, her work around different models of understanding life and the child and, her, and, and the cosmos. Um, should be quite familiar to someone who's trying to make sense of new material ways of, of thinking. Um, yeah, I don't know quite what my point is there other than to perhaps recognize the, you know, the terrible and tragic irony of where we're at in relation to philosophy of education and, and, and our colonial past. Well, present, what am I talking about? Our colonial now. <laughs> mm -hmm.